Mm. Yes, and we are back with some more wine in the morning, as promised. And uh, yes, it's time for our first item of the day on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And uh, this one is uh, some sort of social enterprise. This is somebody who is giving back. He's not in it to make the money and is from Quench uh, Foundation. And he goes by the name Michael Njoroge. Karibu san. Asante sana. All right, your camera is number four right there. Mm -hmm. uh, just look them straight into the eyes and introduce yourself. How would you, how, how you would uh, like Thank you so much. First mm -hmm. and foremost, my name is Michael Njiroge from Quench Foundation Kenya, a charity and mentorship non-profit organization based in Kenya, mm -hmm. but working within the East Africa region. Mm -hmm. So we are happy to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's us. All right. When he says we are happy to be here, he has a team with him. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Uh, but yes, uh, you're here to represent uh, Quench Foundation. How old is Quench? Uh, Quench Foundation, we've existed for a number of years, but mm -hmm. we came together now as Quench Foundation mm -hmm. about a year or so ago. All right. Yeah. Uh, so when you say we, how many are you? Uh, for now, we, we have a membership of about more than 50 members. Mm -hmm. um, myself being uh, the founder, we have a group of uh, directors whom we sit on the board of uh, management and mm -hmm. of course we have many other members who are partners in the organization. All right, it's quite an interesting name right there that you have, yeah. uh, Quench. Uh, I quickly think of water or Sprite. Yeah. Uh, what is it for you? Okay, Quench, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, let's think of it as an analogy. Uh -huh. um, when someone is thirsty, uh -huh. you, need them to, you need to give them water. Uh -huh. uh, the same, same case. Uh -huh. we, we saw that there existed some, uh, some gaps in the mm -hmm, industry, mm -hmm. in the market, mm -hmm. or in the society. Uh -huh. And uh, these gaps, uh, something needed to be done. Uh -huh. and that's why we, we came in and we started helping where we could. All right. Yeah. So, so tell we saw me, some, uh -huh. some need and uh -huh. we came in to... You saw some need and you came into uh, like a straight businessman yeah. uh, but the only difference is that this is giving back this is not for profit yes all right so uh tell me some of these gaps that you saw in the in the kenyan society per se the gaps uh, that needed to be filled yeah. uh, what was lacking the disconnect well um in the kenyan society there are so many gaps mm -hmm. and of course as quench foundation we believe we don't mm -hmm. give because we have mm -hmm. we give because we can mm -hmm. And so, um, for instance, in different communities, different mm -hmm. schools, so mm -hmm. many uh, young girls are missing school because of lack of sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the needs. Mm -hmm. uh, in the different institutions, uh, nursing homes, children's mm -hmm. homes, they needed clothes, they needed uh, the same sanitary towels, mm -hmm. foodstuffs, mm -hmm. uh, shoes, mm -hmm. and so forth, so on. So that's why we came in and we started helping where we could. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so uh, girls, I've seen girls in the list. I've seen uh, students at large in the list. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not, uh, the, the, the senior citizens, are, are they a uh, population that you work with as well? Well, um, you know, Quench Foundation, being a charity and mentorship organization, mm -hmm. I've mentioned that we also go to nursing homes, mm -hmm. different nursing homes, mm -hmm. homes for the elderly people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we give them uh, maybe uh, something in uh, accordance to their requirements. Mm -hmm. For instance, we don't just go and give. Mm -hmm. First, we, we visit them, we know what their needs are, mm -hmm. and then we are able to give them something which will be beneficial to them. Maybe uh, in a certain children's home, nursing home, what uh -huh. they need are mattresses. Uh -huh. That's what we are able to give. Uh -huh. Not just giving for the sake of giving. We give something which we are go is going to impact them. In uh -huh. some so sort you of way. figure out the need first. Yes. And then you fill the need. Yes. All right. So uh, are you Christian? Yes. You're Christian. So yes. I'd like to take you to the Bible a little bit. Mm. And uh, a verse that says, uh, you teach a man to fish. Mm -hmm. Uh, instead of giving them fish. Yes. All right, so when you teach them to fish, you've saved them uh, the rest of their lives. When you give them fish, you've just uh, sorted out a meal or one day. Yes. All right, so uh, I'd like to bring you back to Quench Foundation. Yeah. Uh, is there a way that you're teaching people to fish as well? Well, uh, actually, apart from just giving them fish. Yes, actually, that's why Quench Foundation is a bit, uh, it's a distinguished factor uh -huh. in the market right now. Because mm -hmm. uh, what we are doing 
is that we've incorporated charity with mentorship. Mm -hmm. For instance, in one of the objectives is to support upcoming talents. Mm -hmm. We don't just maybe go and pay a studio for you. Mm -hmm. What we do is we work with you. Mm -hmm. We connect you with people who uh, are going to make you grow. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, maybe someone is a musician, he or she is greatly talented. Mm -hmm. But you know, just going and paying the studio does not solve anything. You mm -hmm. need someone who will hold your hand mm -hmm. and walk with you for the mm -hmm. rest of the Because it's a journey. whole journey. Yes. So Quench Foundation, we, just give, we, we don't just give and go. Mm -hmm. We are here to stay with you and walk with you for the rest of the journey mm -hmm. uh, until you are independent, as, uh, as people say. Sounds like a lot of work right yeah, there. Yeah. And uh, who's involved in uh, all these things, apart from yourself? Yes, uh, we, we have a group of people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a chairman in mm -hmm. Quench Foundation. His name is uh, Peter Moema, mm -hmm. uh, a guy who is doing an amazing work, an mm -hmm. excellent Youthful job. Youthful like yourself? Yes, yes. We, mm -hmm. uh, Quench Foundation, uh, we could say, it's right to say that uh, is a magnanimous platform. By magnanimous, people. all right. Yeah, for young people. <laughs> you remind me of a friend of mine called Kayesu. <laughs> he starts using such terms. Yeah. All right, so um, it's men mentorship and uh, helping yeah. uh, where necessary also. Yeah. All right, I'd like to know what really drove you into getting into, into uh, non-profit work? Well, um, you know, uh, we, we, we have so many people who inspire us to mm -hmm. do these amazing, amazing things. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, people who maybe have inspired us to do what we do are people like Bill Gates. And mm -hmm. you know, people, uh, for instance, in Kenya, they think of uh, this kind of foundation when they want to leave a legacy, maybe at their old age. Mm -hmm. But as I've said, we don't give because we have. Mm -hmm. We give because we can. Mm -hmm. So we came in and we started doing what we do and you know you, you went to the Bible mm -hmm. uh, you know Proverbs uh, 19 17 it mm -hmm. says whoever gives to the poor mm -hmm. lends to the Lord mm -hmm. and in time the Lord will give him but, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> All right so whoever gives to the poor yeah. uh, lends to the Lord yeah. and in due time the Lord will repay him back. Yeah, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll take, we'll leave it at that for now. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I'd like to drive you guys to our social media platforms. That is Twitter and Facebook. And we have a question for you. How is it working uh, from home? How are you working from home? And uh, now that the president said that we should avoid uh, social gatherings and we should also uh, do the most trying to protect ourselves uh, from the coronavirus and protect uh, our loved ones and our neighbors as well. And I see you guys have jumped on the bandwagon uh, for sure and uh, the comments keep coming so keep them coming and don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from so we can give you a shout out as well so uh, Ras Bashir uh, Were Wabusiana Sema watching at uh, uh, 40 uh, Jesus uh, Busia watching at 40 Jesus was here. All right, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for telling us where you're watching us from. Lele Kiplagata Nasema Nakuru tuned in today. Sam Yule Moja Nasema, I'm working perfectly. The only problem is payment won't be able to pay myself because my work is here cooking, eating from a superior and washing white for Thank you very much for that. Uh, the money is going to come if you have faith. All right, uh, Keith Marshall Rash Rashford Nasema from Nyangusu Getai Bikamini V village in uh, the engineer electrical Keith uh, Marshall Rafford, Rashford why in the morning always I love you so much he corona in Mekwabala salamu ni kwa macho tu I like that Mungu is idea Kenya salamu kwa my best friend uh, at Locust akiwa Isioro na Mrembo Esther love Keith akiwa Rongai na mutakia mchana mwema nikiwa nyangusu getai bikanami village ni Keith um, Toto uh, Aminga na wafenda sana. That was very detailed and that's how we love our comments. Thank you very much, uh, Keith Marshall Rafford, uh, Rashford, uh, Samson Fondo, and I said, uh, hashtag white for for Sabaki at the river watching live after night shift uh, job as security guard, wondering how and who will pay you if you work for yourself and lessons online business. All right, I see your cry, I hear your cry for that, but uh, uh, Timothy Kiprona said, Good morning to he coronavirus in Atuletea Shida Sana Aswa Wanabish Wanabiashara na Wanafunzi wetu Tuomba. 
wasilale but wasome nyumbani mola atuangalie we'll end uh, we'll hold it at that and thank you very much uh, Timothy Kipro anatuma word of advice to our students and asema msilale mkiwa nyumbani uh, so many because you're going to resume school and uh, anaombea wa Kenya na sisi pia tunaombea Kenya and we hope this is not going to affect us uh, physically uh, biologically <laughs> and economically <laughs> back to you uh, <coughs> Mr. Uh, so uh, you told me, uh, you were telling me more about uh, your work and uh, how it's affecting the lives of the Kenyan youth uh, to the senior citizens right there yeah. and how you got into it. So what I'd like to know, what are some of your next projects? Well, on the 28th of March mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this month, mm -hmm. we have a project dubbed the Essence 2020, mm -hmm. uh, the core value or the core meaning of giving. Mm -hmm. That's why we've dubbed it the Essence. Mm -hmm. We are going at a certain uh, children's home in mm -hmm. uh, Limuru. We mm -hmm. were there. Uh, we call it uh, Reke, mm -hmm. you, know, you would understand. Yes, I reckon, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So we went there, we, we, we surveyed, we saw uh, their needs. Uh -huh. That's why on the 28th we'll be there. But mm -hmm. now with the government directive, uh -huh. we won't go as a group. Mm -hmm. We'll just deliver the products, uh -huh. and hoping they will be of help to them. All right. Yeah. So uh, have you done this before, uh, just delivering the goods without interacting with the people? Is this something that has happened before? No, no. Actually, this is the first do, time. This is the first time. All right. Because we, we want to avoid having a group of people congregating uh -huh. at a children's home uh -huh. because we also want to keep them safe. Keep them safe and yeah. keep yourself safe yeah. in the process. Uh, so uh, what is the importance of just interacting with these kids uh, while uh, helping them out, giving uh, these things, giving out these things that, that they need? This interaction, this social interaction, what is the importance of that? Well, what we, dis what we, we do is that we show them that uh, there is more to life mm -hmm. than what maybe they see. Mm -hmm. It's good to show them that uh, a number of people out there do actually care for them. Mm -hmm. and that's why actually we, we do three things when mm -hmm. we visit a children's home. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in simple words, fun, word, and mentorship. So mm -hmm. we have fun, we pray together, we interact with them, mm -hmm. uh, we feed them mm -hmm. uh, if we can. And of course, the word of God, we mm -hmm. give them, uh, we, 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 we always have a preacher who mm -hmm. goes with that uh, mm -hmm. everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. So this preacher gives them the word mm -hmm. and in an interactive manner, the way mm -hmm. they can understand. Mm -hmm. So that even if they're in a children's home, they can know that the love of God is actually sufficient mm -hmm. no matter where you are. And number three is mm -hmm. mentorship. Mm -hmm. We make sure that we, we work with them, we know what they need, mm -hmm. and we show them we, we've been somewhere before and mm -hmm. we're actually here. So it can actually work for you. All right. Yeah. Uh, why is it important to you that you pass the message of, uh, of the Lord uh, to these kids? Uh, do you have a backstory? Do you have a story, a uh, special story with the Lord that, uh, that inspires you to share uh, it with those kids? Well, uh, this is what I believe, mm -hmm. that everything you do in this world, mm -hmm. uh, no matter where you are, it's mm -hmm. a seed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've always uh, meant to remember that the harvest mm -hmm. is always greater than the seed. Mm -hmm. For instance, you only plant also mm -hmm. three seedlings of uh, maize, mm -hmm. but you, you get the, the, the whole, uh, whole comb yeah, uh -huh. of maize. Uh -huh. So uh, that's why we, we do what we do. Uh -huh. So uh, telling them the word of God or sharing them uh, the word of God, this is what we believe as Quench Foundation. Mm -hmm. There is no greater mentorship mm -hmm. than what the word of God says about a person. Mm -hmm. So if you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, if mm -hmm. you can understand that, mm -hmm. I believe you'll be able to conquer the different mm -hmm. adversities of life. All right. It yeah. seems like I uh, made a huge mistake to ask if you're Christian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but you're really good at this, mm -hmm. and I like uh, I like how you're handling it. Mm, so I'd like to know. Uh, there's an assumption that every child in a children's home is an orphan. Yeah. Have you met other uh, other cases that uh, that are different? Yes, actually, like uh, where we are going on the 20th, it's mm -hmm. actually a rescue center. Mm -hmm. It's a place whereby maybe uh, children go when they can't live with their families because of uh, different reasons, mm -hmm. uh, kids from the streets. So mm -hmm. actually, it's not only orphans who are mm -hmm. in the children's home. Uh, there are people, their parents maybe went abroad. They mm -hmm. left their children somewhere without someone, without a guardian. Mm -hmm. So these people are taken in by the government and they are taken to 
rescue centers. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come in and we start helping. So not uh, the notion or the mm -hmm. traditional understanding of a children's home mm -hmm. is that it's for orphans, but mm -hmm. actually it's not. All right. Yeah. So uh, the big question is always, uh, uh, where do you get uh, all these things cost money? Even traveling to Limuru costs money. Yeah. Where do you get all this uh, uh, funding from? And is it sustainable? Yes. Um, okay, we, we've not been doing uh, these what we do for a very long time. Mm -hmm. We've only been uh, into about three or four events so mm -hmm. far. Uh, so um, I would say it's sustainable because we are working with a group of partners, mm -hmm. our members, mm -hmm. people who we subscribe to the same notion of mm -hmm. giving. So I would say it's, uh, it will continue uh, mm -hmm. because uh, these people are willing to give. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's not about how much you have. Mm -hmm. It's about what you can. Mm -hmm. So if you are talking of foodstuffs, if mm -hmm. you are talking about shoes mm -hmm. uh, and so forth, so on. Mm -hmm. Remember, um, it's very easy for now to keep a young girl in school because mm -hmm. with 200 shillings, that uh, particular young girl will be able to go to school for a whole month mm -hmm. without uh, this kind of interference. Without the hiccups, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would say it's sustainable. It is, it, it is sustainable. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if anybody would like to be part of Quench Foundation or whatever you do, yeah. uh, either physically or remotely, yeah. how can they get to interact with you? Your camera is number four. Well, um, if you would like to join Quench Foundation Kenya, it's pretty simple. Uh, we have, you can visit all our social media platforms at Quench KE, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we are at Quench KE and you'll be able to find ways into which you can join Quench Foundation or you can call us uh, on 0703. 763169 and be able to interact with one uh, of our public relations uh, mm -hmm. manager. All who's right. waiting, by the way, to take your call. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much for that. Yeah. And remember, we are on social media as well. Uh, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And never, ever, ever forget to tell us where you're watching us from. And Twitter and Facebook, we have a question for you. How is it uh, working from home? How is it working from home? Now that we have uh, to be safe or stay safe uh, from the coronavirus, tell us, and we'll be very happy to to sample them in the course and at the end of the show. Back to you, my brother. Yes. Uh, so is this what you do full time? Well, this is not what I do full time, but it's something which I would love to do. To full do full time. time. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, there is a famous story by Bill Gates. Uh -huh. uh, uh, if I can recall the, the story, uh -huh. uh, once upon a time he landed in a certain airport mm -hmm. And uh, someone asked, uh, is there someone, a journalist, by uh -huh. the way, is there someone who is richer than you are? Uh -huh. So for the first time, this guy didn't have any amount of money to uh, buy the newspaper. Uh -huh. So this guy who was selling the newspaper gave him that particular newspaper for free. Uh -huh. uh, Bill Gates landed in the same airport for the second time. Uh -huh. um, Coincidentally, he didn't have enough change to purchase the newspaper. Uh -huh. So the same guy offered to give him the newspaper. Uh -huh. And the guy told him, I'm actually operating on a profit. I won't go on a loss if I give you this newspaper. Uh -huh. So uh, after a while, Bill Gates became rich, the man he is today. And uh, he went back to look for the man. And he wanted to give the man, uh, he wanted to give anything, the, what the man would ask, Bill Gates wanted to offer. Uh -huh. So uh, he looked for the man, after some few months he found the, the guy. Uh -huh. So he asked uh, the guy, what would you like me to do for you? The guy asked him a simple question. I gave you, I gave you when I didn't have nothing. Now uh -huh. you want to give me because you are rich. Uh -huh. Would your giving and by giving uh, be equal? So the guy decided, uh, so Bill Gates learned one lesson, that uh -huh. there was someone actually richer than him because he was willing to give uh -huh. when he had, when, when he could, not uh -huh. when he had. Wow. So uh, even a newspaper vendor can teach Bill Gates something. Yes. So you can always learn something from anybody. Anybody. All right. Yeah. So you can always learn something from every, every single person knows something that you don't. Yes, and actually, you know, if you have 100 shillings, uh -huh. you can always uh, donate 20 shillings, not only to Quench Foundation. We have uh -huh. so many other 
things that you can do. Uh -huh. Like I've learned that Jack Ma has donated some staffs to, to the country uh -huh. to continue with the fight uh, against this coronavirus. Uh -huh. So people are continuing to give. And uh -huh. actually people are going to supermarkets and buying stuff. Nobody uh -huh. is remembering these people in nursing homes and uh -huh. children's homes. So uh, maybe it's a wake up call to everybody to also, as they remember themselves, mm -hmm. remember someone today. Remember someone today. That is a message uh, from the Quench Foundation. And uh, the message is simple. Remember someone else and uh, give because you can. Don't yeah. give because you have. Yeah. Wonderful. Remind them your social media handles again yes. and how they can get to be part of this as we wrap up. We're at Quench KE across all our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you can find us at Quench KE. And of course, you can call us through 0703-763-169. And there's someone waiting to take your call right now. All right, yeah. thank you very much for coming through. Asante, Asante. And I uh, really appreciate you. I really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, keep doing what you're doing right there. Yeah. I see you have something uh, there. What, what is that? Well, at uh -huh. Quench Foundation Kenya, we have uh, one of our characters is to give. All right. So we decided to give you something so that you can become one of our brand ambassadors. Okay. It's called Quench Foundation Kenya. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we impact our generation. Uh -huh. So from today, you'll be... I'm an official ambassador. Yes. Uh, it's okay. my honor, man. Yes, it's yes. my honor to be an ambassador. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, despite the coronavirus, I have to shake your hand for that. I'm Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Awesome. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. Officially yeah. branded and I'm officially an ambassador of Quench Foundation. You can find them on line as the French Foundation and you can be part of what they do right there. So thank you very much for coming through. We appreciate you and on behalf of Y254 or Y in the morning, we urge you to give because uh, you can. Don't give because you have. And another lesson I've learned from the brother right here is that you can learn from anybody else. You can learn from anybody. Everybody out there knows something that you don't. So when you wake up in the morning, it's a brand new day to learn something. My name is Barry Moses or it's Barry Moore on every social media platform and we'll be back with some more of Why in the Morning. Don't go nowhere.